Over the past few years, Southland has seen a gratifying drop in the number of TB infected herds, from 56 in 1995 to only two today. That success is due to initiatives funded and managed by the Animal Health Board. The Southland TB Free Committee acts as a link between farmers and the AHB. Chairman Mike O'Brien shares some of the history of TB in the area. TB was first found in Southland about in the early 60s, I think. But in the mid 70s, the Hokanui's were recognised as a bit of a hot spot, and there was a vector control operation to kill possums. And it was very effective because there was 26 herds under move for control then, and after the operation, they actually dropped down to two herds. But unfortunately, they thought the job was done and for 15 years, really, there was nothing much done at all. So in the, by the mid-90s, we were back up to 56 herds, of which 30-odd were around the Hokanui. So I think, you know, lesson learned, you knock down the possum population, you will reduce the number of infected herds, but the trick is you've got to keep that control for a long period of time and keep those possum numbers very low over a long period of time in order to take the disease out of that population. This year the AHB announced the new strategy, which is this eradication strategy, and under that strategy the aim is to actually eradicate the disease from the wild animal population, region by region if you like, so that although the infected herd numbers we hope will stay down and even probably get down to zero again, that doesn't necessarily mean the job's finished. From the Animal Health Committee point of view is we've got to keep farmers engaged and keep the support from the farmers so that although they've got very low infected herds, they still need to understand the need to do the testing, the need to be careful with their movement control and to support the vector control operations. So this is the possum trap sites for uh, Leon Hill and this contract here is one that Adrian carried out on um, Dun Robin coming up through there. I am the supervisor for south of the Clutha River and predominantly in the southland area, the um, Takatimus, Hokanuris and Catlins are our, our main focus really. With the TB control we're pushing things along technology wise. We're using a lot of um, basically whatever's out there and that includes GPS's, PDA's and getting contractors up to play with what we're doing so we're taking a more scientific note of the actual killing part of it if you like. When we first started it was more a broad brush approach so we had performance based contracts and we went and basically cover the land as best we can, come in with a performance monitor, as long as that passed the contract was paid and then move on to the next area. We're now zoning in on these areas and using what we're calling input contracts where we as the Animal Health Board are directing that traps are set certain distances apart, stay for certain times or a certain number of nights so that all these small areas and basically every bit of habitat is being covered and there's a possibility of catching a possum in those areas. The way we look for TB is, is our surveys and that's surveys with both possums and ferrets and in, in some cases pigs. We are controlling come surveying these areas and recording where each possum is caught and in a lot of areas we're still looking where possums aren't caught and we get just as good of information out of that as well. Contractors in Southland started using this technology in a lesser degree sort of from the mid 90s. As technology's progressed we've gone through from the GPS of a simple waypoint to using PDAs which we can capture data as well as the waypoint but data as in what type of animal's been caught or what type of trap's been set and this is all recorded as the contractors are going through each day. Agriquality, when they autopsy the animals, they're actually physically looking for the disease. In a lot of cases it's not visible straight away by cutting so samples are also taken away to be cultured. Once we get back down to zero movement control herds, we still need to at least have a five year clear of not catching any TB animals. Our strategy is to eradicate TB, not eradicate possums, but eradicate TB. So for that next five years after that, we're still going to have to keep looking.